Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to pull out my Kylove Rococo palette. So here is what this one looks like on the inside. So I just wanted to pull this out today and create a simple summery look. So let's jump right into it. All right, I want to focus on the pinks and oranges in this palette. So I'm gonna start with this light matte pink shade. This is called Infatuation and I'm going to just be picking this up on my fluffy brush and working it in the inner portion of my crease and I have found that with these shades, especially the lighter matte shades, they do take a bit more building because they are so light. So I'm just going to really work on building this one up right in the inner kind of half of my crease. And I don't know if you can still get this palette. I know that Kylov announced that they were going to be closing and a lot of their palettes are on sale right now. And I'm not sure if this one has sold out yet or not, but if you are interested, be sure to check out their website just in case but I am quite sad that they are going to be closing because I really do like the color stories they come up with and the themes of their palettes. So it is sad to see, but I am happy that I picked up the couple palettes I do own from them. All right, the next shade I want to take is Magdalene. And this is the lighter orange matte shade. So I'm going to basically be doing the same thing, just in the outer portion of my crease. And I'm going to just be working on building this one and then blending it in with the pink shade. I think the oranges in here are probably my favorite shades in this palette, which is really surprising because orange is not a favorite color of mine, especially for eyeshadow. So the fact that I really do like these ones says a lot about them. I just think they're so good, especially the darker one that I'm going to use next. I really like what that one looks like as well. So like I said, just building these up, blending them together, going to go back and forth, and make sure we have a good pigmentation on both colors. All right, next I want to take Allegory. And this is the darker orange I was just talking about. I think it is so pretty. So I'm going to use this to start deepening my outer corner. So focusing just right in this outer portion, kind of in a C shape, I'm going to be blending this. And I am also bringing it onto the lid a bit. And of course, making sure it is nice and built up and blend it with the crease shades we already have down. All right, next I'm going to take a little bit more of Infatuation, which was that light pink shade. And I'm going to pop this right over the inner portion of my lid and just work on building this up right there as well, create a little bit of a halo eye sort of effect with these shades. All right, next I want to take the shade Frivolity and this is the gorgeous little pink shimmer in this palette. So I'm going to be picking this up on a small packing brush and I will wet my brush with this shade. And then we are going to be packing this in the center of my lid, right where we have that open space. And work on building this one up as well. I might also go in with my finger over top of this just so we can make sure to get the best pigmentation and shine from this shade. The shades in these palettes are just a lot more subtle than other palettes I find. So I will pick up some of this on my finger 
and just go ahead and tap this right over the lid. Just really want this to have a good pigmentation. All right, then the next shade I want to take is Shepherdess. And this one is just going to go right in my inner corner. Like so. And that is going to do it for this look. I'm going to go add some mascara and be right back. All right, here is the final look. So like I said, these shades are very soft. So this isn't an in-your-face sort of look. It's just pretty subtle. And this is a look that I would definitely feel super comfortable wearing out. It has a bit of color to it, but it's not overwhelming. And I think it just creates a nice kind of everyday wash of color and I really just wanted to create a fairly simple look today so that is how I think it turned out so let me know what you guys think of this look what you would like to see from me in the future give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads and with all of that said I will see you in my next video. Bye!